Well, hello. So today, I decided not to be lazy and do a video on my visit to Singapore's River Safari, which is a river-themed wildlife park. And as the name suggests, you will find creatures that are connected to the river or freshwater organised into ecosystems of famous rivers, that is Mississippi, Ganges, Amazon, Mekong, Yangtze and so on. I'll be sharing some pictures and videos that I took. Maybe I'll talk a bit about some of the animals later on in the video. I just hope you will enjoy watching them in action. And do come and pay them a visit if you are around. Entry tickets do not include the Amazon River Quest. can generate up to 600 volts of electricity through electrocytes or cells which store power like batteries in three organs called the main organ, hunter's organ and sex organ producing either high or low voltage. This idea of self-powered batteries became the inspiration for some researchers at the University of Fribourg in Switzerland who designed an ill-inspired power source or artificial organ that might prove to be the prototype for biocompatible self-powered medical devices such as pacemakers or prosthetics, reducing the need for invasive surgeries. An electric eel is not a true eel, but a knife fish. The electric eel is related to the black ghost knifefish, which also generates electricity in its tail organ. However, it does not produce enough charge to stun its prey, using it instead to communicate or scan their surroundings.
return to your left, you'll spot the Gofield Flamingo. The flamingos plan to be acts as a seed, filtering out microscopic food in the water. It is this food that gives the flamingo its red pudding. The opposite are other brothers. These large cousins of the hamsters grow up to 70 kilograms, and all the rules of the world are Up next is our family of brown nose cookie monkeys. They're able to turn their ankles over 180 degrees, and this helps them fly. from branch to branch. I don't see any spider monkey. Do you see two large brown animals? No. These are the wooden tapirs. Tapirs are the largest land animals in the Amazon growing up to 300 kilograms. However, them. Oh. it still has enemies. When chased by the cougars and jaguars, they run and plunge into the river. Hi! Hi friends! with the jaguar enclosure because all I could see was their backside but that's fine this is great because I have the boat all to myself I feel like a queen queen of the river but I could see some interesting animals yeah also could get a tent here pretty awesome
One of the main differences between an alligator and a crocodile is the shape of the snout. The alligator is shorter and rounder, whereas the crocodile is long, pointy, as in V-shaped. And when closed, the fourth teeth in the lower jaw overlaps the upper, that is the crocodile has an overbite, whereas all the lower teeth of the alligator is hidden. Crocodiles are generally much larger, have a stronger bite force than alligators. Alligators are more likely to be found in waters outside tropical regions than crocodiles. Dear little alligator, in a while a crocodile.